today on In the Woodshed. A woodworker reacts to world events. What? I can't hear you! Tradition versus technology. And a man plays with his wood. Welcome back to the woodshed, folks. Today we've got a rather ambitious project. In the spirit of hand tool woodworking, we're going to craft an acoustic instrument. No, not a guitar, but actually the first acoustic theremin in the world. The theremin is a device that produces tones by measuring changes in an electrical field. These changes are imparted by the player's hands. And today, we're going to make an acoustic version. But first, a word from our sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by Nord Shadow Aprons. Nord Shadow Aprons, the only app that turns your cell phone into a mallet. Nord Shadow Aprons. Remember to get your copy today by using promo code LAFE is a huge sellout. And now back to the studio. Oh wait, that's here. The items you'll need for today's build are a block of tone wood. Tink, tink, tink. Make sure it's tone wood. Some medium gauge wire. And a bit of edge banding. Also, you want a little bit of glue. As with most projects, we begin by squaring our stock. That's that's actually more of a rectangle, so yeah, we'll we'll rectangle our stock, and uh, I guess I guess that's pretty much done. So I'll tell you what, throw some throw some shavings on your workbench so it looks like you did some work, and we'll move on to the next step. Next, we drill pilot holes for the pitch and volume antennas. The pitch antenna is simply a vertical antenna, and pretty simple, we'll just insert it like so. The volume antenna, on the other hand, is a little more complicated. Let me show you how to make that. The volume antenna actually needs to be a loop, so make sure, so grab a round object, and we'll use that to form the curvature of our volume antenna. After you've bent that loop, go ahead and crimp a little back radius in there, and your end product should look just like this. Then go ahead and insert your volume loop, like so. We're almost done, but there's one more step. Right, the final step is we need to make a band for our wrist to ground us to a unit. Now on a traditional unit, that band is grounded back to the head with a cord. But because this is an acoustic theremin, we only need the strap made out of wood, and it will channel our thetans through space and time back to the head unit. So get yourself, get yourself a strip of banding, size it to your wrist, Put some wood glue on there. Clamp it up and let it set. Okay, let's fire this up and give it a try. Oh, 
First we begin by aligning our chakras. Okay. watching this build folks I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to tune in next week when I take some old dirty pallet wood and transform it into this beauty <laughs>